Hey everyone, how's it going? This is going to be a instructional video on how to install iOS 6 onto your device. So as you know, it was released today and there's a written website part um, on iOS betas that I created, but I also want to make a actual video tutorial as it simplifies a little more and it might be a little bit easier to follow for some of you. So I know I'm a little late getting this out, excuse the bad lighting and whatnot, but uh, here it is. So we're mainly gonna watch the screen here and continue on. Now this tutorial works for both Windows and PC. So just cause, I, or sorry, just PC and Mac, just because I'm doing it on a Mac doesn't mean it won't work on Windows. If I can, I will try to get out a Windows version of this actually doing it on Windows. Um, if not though, the Mac one is almost similar. There's a tiny bit of a difference but not too much um, all right so let's go ahead and the first thing you need to do is obviously make sure that your iPhone is plugged in now once you've done that you hear greet with iTunes and you also have to make sure you have the most recent version of iTunes and you can do that by going to about iTunes and you should see you have 10.6.3 now it's not like last year where they had a beta version of iTunes for each new release you can simply get iTunes from apple.com slash iTunes and that is the newest version that you need to install iOS 6 um, they've already made it compatible I don't know if in the future you need to install further updates but right now for beta one of iOS 6 you can work with iTunes iTunes 10.6.3 so make sure you have 10.6.3 that is crucial and as you see here my iPhone is running on 5.1 I just called it test iPhone because I restored it multiple times it's a 32 gigabyte iPhone 4s again this will work for iPad iPod iPhone whatever model you have that's compatible with the beta this will work this install process is exactly the same um, and then you're going to be greeted with this. As you see, again, I've restored this ahead of time, so there's not much else to worry about. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to IMZDL for the time being. It's IMZDL.com, and they are one of the best websites for actually having the betas. Um, they have right here, as you see, all of the uh, iOS betas. They have every single one of um, iOS 6 beta 1, and they'll have it for 2 and 3 and so on and so forth. Um, I'm hoping maybe within the next couple days I can get my own links and put them on iOS betas personally myself and it'll just um, cause less confusion and those links will be up but I'm still working on those I'm working on logistics for that so for the time being IMZDL works as you see right here for the iPhone 4s iOS um, 6 there is a direct download or there's also the torrent file the torrent file you have to use something like uTorrent or something like that or Frostwire um, and it'll download the file again on the first day it's a little bit slow so sit tight and then you choose your right device. Remember, there's the whole list right there. Obviously, this is an iPhone 4S. There's only one for the iPhone 4S because it's all running on the same software. Um, however, if you have a Verizon iPhone 4, you're going to pick CDMA. And if you have an AT&T iPhone 4, you will want to pick a GSM. Um, same with the iPad. GSM corresponds with AT&T and CDMA corresponds with Verizon. I get that question a lot. So I just want to clear that up. And then if you have an iPad 3 with Wi-Fi, again, and just choose whatever you know. It's not that hard. You can usually pick it. Make sure you get the right one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download it. And when you download it, it is going to pop up as a disk image. So when you double click on that, it's going to open it up right here. We'll pull it back over there. And here it is. So it's a disk image. Apple will, uh, Mac will automatically open it up. If you have Windows, you may need a converter. You may not. Most computers don't. Um, and then you're going to see the actual IPSW inside. So take the IPSW right here. And just uh, you can leave it in there or you can drag it to somewhere we know. See, as you see right here, I've already put it on my desktop. This is the um, iPhone 4S 6.0 version 1 restore. So I've put it on my desktop so it's easily accessible. I know right where it is. So what you're going to do is you have your phone plugged in here. And you're going to go to this main screen, the summary screen. Again, select your device on the side. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to hold down Option and click this. Now, all right, that's what you do. If you're on a Windows, I believe it is Shift. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's Shift. And then you're going to click Restore. So I'm on the map, so we go Option, Restore. We're going to go to my desktop. All right, here's my desktop. As you see, only the IPSWs are highlighted. The other ones you wouldn't be able to use, so it's not too hard to mess this up. So this is the correct one, iPhone 4.1, which is the 4S. And we're going to click Open. And it's going to say, do you want to erase it and restore with iOS 6? And yes, you do. Oh, one thing, sorry, before I forgot to say, was yes, you will be able to restore all your apps and everything. So what you're going to want to do is right-click on your iPhone and just click Backup. And let this complete up here where it says backing up, whatever the name of your iPhone is, and make sure that you've sunk it and back it up. Do that one, two, three times. Just make sure it's all good. So it's back up right there. It's backing up. You want to sync it. Make sure you do that. And then, sorry, and then you're going to go option restore. 
and you're going to select the firmware. So we're going to click open. Again, it's going to say it's, er it's going to erase it, but that's all right because you've backed it up and sunk it. So um, make sure you've done that. Oh, also one other thing, make sure you click back up to this computer. It's just easier. You can back up to iCloud if you want, but make sure you have back up to this computer selected and make sure your time is 856, 856. Make sure it's to this computer. It's just easier. It saves headaches. Again, sorry, there's a lot of little things here, but um, this video will be long, but it's very thorough and it'll be the, the most simple way to follow. So we're going to go ahead and click restore. And you won't see much on your iPad at first. It's just plugged in. It says extracting software. You're going to let it do that. And then once it is done with that, it'll start putting it onto the new device. Now this, depending on the device you have, iPads, since their software is a little bit larger, takes a tiny bit longer. iPhones and iPods go the quickest. Also, Apple TV does the same, but not many people want to put um, iOS 6 on their Apple TV. <laughs> there's not much to it. Um, however, if you do, then there's plenty of tutorials out there for you. Um, so here it is. We got the restore. It's going to show up preparing the iPhone. And then this is going to come up just like that. All right. And it's going to put the Apple, you know, it's saying, hey, look, I'm working. Plug me into iTunes. Preparing iPhone for restore. Whatever you do, don't shut off your computer. Don't unplug your iPhone. Do nothing of the sorts. Now, you can fast forward through this part of the video, I guess. There's not much to do. Um, I could cut this out, but I'd rather talk to you. I mean, it's fun. So... We're just going to wait here. Again, this takes a little while. Um, sit tight. Don't think anything's going wrong. It's all right. You're restoring. It's going to verify your iPhone restore like it always does. Um, it's just putting on the new software. It's wiping it clean. Um, again, you see here I'm on 5.1.1, but you can be on whatever you want. I actually changed my mind. I will cut this out since it's going to take a while. So I'll see you back when this is done with the restore. Okay, hey, so... We are back, and as you see, the iPhone has completely finished restoring, and now you see that we have set up your iPhone here, and um, it'll show your phone, and you can either choose to set it up as a new one or restore from a backup before it'll say last backed up at the time, 856, and that's probably what most of you are going to do because you'll want to put your old apps back on. Now, I'm going to just choose set up as a new one for the time being, and we can call it whatever we want, Matt Jones's iPhone and you can choose what to sync or what not. I won't choose anything for ease of use here. And you're going to see it's waiting for phone to sync. Parent sync, it's downloading the data, and now it's done. Now up here on your iPhone, what you're going to have to do is unlock it, continue on through the setup, which isn't too hard. And you can just go right through there. Agree, agree, ta-da, ta-da. Start using iPhone. So here it is. As you see, we have iPhone, iOS 6 on it. Just to prove it to you. Don't want to show any phone number. All right. All right, there it is, 6.0.1, or no, 6.0. right and then as you see you know we got all our new features we got the do not disturb and all those things like that so that is how you get 6.0 onto your iphone as you see right here software version 6.0 ipad whatever it may be ipod touch that's how you're going to do it um, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below you can send me an email support at iosbetas.com and i'll try and help you out as best i can again if i need to update this video i will um, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel, and uh, thanks for purchasing a UDID registration. See you later.